Hello everyone, in this get response video you will learn how you can set up an order confirmation email and also how you can recover those abandoned cards. Stay tuned. Before we get started, allow me to explain that to get access to the quick transactional emails, order confirmations and abandoned cart emails, you need to integrate your e-commerce store with GetResponse. In my case, I integrated Shopify and you can check on the top right corner how you can do that as well. And if, if you have a different store and you want to know if we support it, check our uh, FAQ on the top right corner as well so that you will see more information. And now let's jump right into it. So how to get to the quick transactional emails? We just have to go to tools, top left, e-commerce tools, and quick transactional emails. I already have two examples here created, the cart recovery and the order confirmed. And what you can do with this uh, is that, well, when someone purchases an item, then the order confirmation will be sent. This is a great tool to assure your customers that everything is well, that you received the order and everything is confirmed. On the other hand, the cart recovery will definitely help you increase your sales as you can uh, remind people that they left something in their cart and you may as well persuade them with some promo codes in that email. Now, let's see how it works. We just click quick, uh, create quick transactional email and you'll see two options here. And let's select order confirmation, go to email creator. And it is very simple. If you're already familiar on how to create a newsletter, it, it will be very, very similar. You add a title here. This title is only for you. That's all. Just as an example, order confirmed. And then what people will see is the subject line here. And then you go straight to design message. And this is where you will select the template. And there you are in at the editor. Uh, you can replace everything here except this part. Here you can only uh, manipulate um, according to the settings here on the right and everything will be replaced by the products that your customers will purchase and all the data as well. So everything here is dynamic. And then once you're ready, you will just click next. I will not be doing that as uh, I already have one published and I will explain why in a second. Basically, so after you click next, you will then see a message to activate. I didn't do that as you can only have one active at a time. Otherwise, for the same store, people would receive two when they purchase instead of only one message. And we don't want that. So when you want to edit or you want to replace the message for, for your specific store, you would have to actually deactivate so that you can activate the other. And the same applies if you want to edit the message. So if you want to edit the message, you need to deactivate and then uh, edit and only after that you can activate. And now let's jump into the abandoned cart email. The only difference here I will show you quickly is that you will see an option to set up an, a delay. That will be the only difference uh, when it comes to editing. Uh, nothing else will differ, so I will not go through it. Just select the delay here and then you'll be ready to go. And now how does it look like? I have here an example on Gmail. And this is how the email will look like, the order confirmation. So I purchased this item and everything was replaced here, as you can see. And why is this good for you? Because if you try to edit this message in Shopify, for example, you will see a code and everything will be will have to be changed with the code as well. So it's not a drag and drop. Uh, and with this editor here, drag and drop, no codes, and it will be very easy for you to get started. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.